C-22J was designed in the late 70s and is the last aircraft to leave the Caproni factory. Built on private initiative as a trainer with low purchase and operating costs, the Caproni Beat Solar C-22J was the last aircraft born under the Caproni name. In 1983, the Caproni family sold the aeronautical business to Augusta, which for its part preferred to favor the SIAIS-211 in the military trainer market. The project began in 1978, in response to a United States Air Force specification to provide a new trainer with reduced operating costs. All phases of development, construction and testing of the aircraft were carried out by a team of 14 people led by Carlo Ferraran and Livio Sonzio. The first C-22J with registration numbers ICABJ was flown on 21 July 1980. The aircraft subsequently had the wings shortened and fitted with tip tanks. During the test program it was subjected, among other things, to loads simulating landing on aircraft carriers. Proposed for pilot selection, basic training and that of personnel in service with non-flight entities, remote sensing, aerophotogrammetry, environmental patrolling, fast link, it could also have been adapted as a remote-controlled aircraft with catapult launch with the help of an auxiliary rocket. Unfortunately, only a few prototypes were completed. Docked. It has outstanding handling qualities, with a maximum permissible load factor of 7 grams positive and 3.5 negative in clean configuration. The two turbojet engines are housed in the rear and fed by a single dorsal NACA air intake located immediately behind the cockpit. The compressor is of the single-stage centrifugal type, just as the axial-type turbine is single-stage with a reverse-flow combustion chamber. Specific fuel consumption is high which requires the adoption of wingtip fuel tanks, with a capacity of 70 liters each, not present on the prototype, but installed on the pre-series model. The C-22J a light trainer characterized by great simplicity in all its parts with an all-metal structure. The passenger compartment, which contributes to lift, has an aluminum load-bearing structure and fiberglass shell. At the rear were installed the two TRS-18-1 to engines with 148 kg thrust, fed by a single dorsal air intake. One of the prototypes is exhibited at the Gianni Caproni Aeronautical Museum and, within the collection, represents the ideal conclusion to the history of the Caproni group. An original simulacrum of the Caproni Vizzola C-22J is kept in the Gianni Caproni Aeronautical Museum in Trento.